Hey guys, so like I said, I would go ahead and do my 26th week update. So, I drink a lot of orange juice. So, let me tell you, ooh, the wind is blowing like crazy. So, here we go. Remember when I said in my last video how I will let you guys know on the reason why I'm just completely over being pregnant. Okay. So, in the beginning of the 26 weeks, I actually had heartburn so bad that I woke up from it. And I woke up three nights in a row with multiple charlie horses okay the third night i had one in my right leg so bad that i could feel the pain like in my foot like it was so bad the first night i had two on my left one on my right and then the next night was like one of each over it i even woke up with a charlie horse last night as well in my right leg all three times in my right leg I'm over it. Completely over it. Um, I can feel him, like, roll. So, whenever, like, I'm laying down or whatever on my side and I have my, ha and I have my hand on my stomach, and you can see, like, little, little leg hairs. Um, <coughs> like, it feels like a little roll on my hand. It's, it's weird, but it's cute, but it's weird at the same time. Like, I don't know. I need to get some more orange juice. So, I'm back to laying on my left side only. Just because he will not allow me to um, lay on my right. And it's so annoying just because um, there is two internet. Hello. <sighs> How did my Wi-Fi to get turned off? Okay, I don't know how my Wi-Fi got turned off. Um, sorry, squirrel. But what was I saying? Oh, like I can only really on my left side. <laughs> Like, he will not let me to lay on my right at all. It just was super uncomfortable. And I literally, like, thought about sleeping in a chair for a few like, a few different times. To where I actually did at one point slip, slept in the chair. Like, I woke, I fell asleep, laying on my left side, and then I woke up to my hip hurting so bad that I actually came in here and, like, slept in the chair. Like, I, for, like, two days, for, like, two nights, I... Felt like my body got like no rest. Um, I've been getting more anxious just because I feel like I have like nothing prepared. Like I have some stuff, but I don't have the room put together. Um, like I have like the crib, the changing table, um, you name it. Um, Leia has always been clingy, but. It seems like she's been extra clingy this week, so. Um. I will actually start getting, like, heartburn from, like, not eating anything. Like, I can just wake up. Like, I'll, I'll eat, like, in the morning, stuff like that. And then, with the whole no appetite thing, like, I'll go and, like, pretty much like not thinking about eating and I'll start getting heartburn I'm just like wait I haven't had anything spicy or anything like that and then I realized I have had, haven't had anything to eat so then I force myself to eat and then it gets worse like it's super weird <sighs> but then the heartburn can actually get like worse throughout the day if I if that makes sense if I like don't eat and get heartburn and it just gets worse throughout the day Um, I actually woke up with my hands hurting one night, like, a couple nights in a row, like, 
because of the swelling. Like, it, it literally felt like as if I was doing, like, a two-mile, five-mile, like, lap or whatever, walk, run. And, like, your hands, like, swell. Like, that's how it felt. Um, let's see. I woke up feeling sick all day with a, and with a headache the other day. Tylenol don't do nothing for me. Like, it never did anything for me before I got pregnant anyways. So, Tylenol is out the door. That's where, like, CBD comes in for me. And, yes, it's THC-free. So, um, I actually learned that, um, from a lot of other people that strawberries actually have more potassium than bananas do. Like, I was eating a lot of bananas, and they were helping with the trolley horses and stuff like that. But then, like, it became an issue where we had, like, a really bad nap problem because of it. And there's actually, like, other a lot of other people I've actually talked to actually said they had, like, nap, problem, nap problems because of the bananas, too. So, I actually learned that strawberries actually have more potassium than bananas do. So, that's a tip. So, I've been eating more strawberries. Um, the night that I slept in the chair... A little man was moving a lot. Like, every time I would, like, the wind is blowing so hard. Like, I heard something. Oh, it was the trash cans. I need to go check on that. But real quick. Um, like, the night that I slept in the chair, like, before, um, whenever I was, like, laying down in bed to go to bed, like, I would, like, start to fall asleep, like, and feel myself, like, falling asleep, and then, like, he would move so much, it would wake me up. So, that was that. And then the other night, yesterday, actually, actually had, I actually had heartburn so bad that every time I, I drank water, milk, um, or anything, it only made it worse, like, Tums didn't even help, well, maybe a little bit, but not as much, um, I can actually start, start, starting to feel myself get sick even more at night again, um, like, the heart, like, I'm gonna keep going back and forth with the heartburn, like, I'm just, like, writing down, like, notes as I go along, so, like, I feel like that's part of, like, the getting closer to the third trimester because I'm I'll be 27 weeks tomorrow and um they say when you get closer to your third trimester or whenever you get into your third trimester it's a lot worse than your first trimester so I can start to feel myself getting sick again and then um the heartburn was so bad yesterday it felt like I was gonna throw up I already done told you guys about the Charlie horses from last night. How I woke up three different times, and with them within, with them being in the same leg. So, so let's go ahead and get twenty-seven weeks started and ready to go. So. That is my 26 weeks. I'm telling y'all, I'm ready to have this baby. So bad. Like, I wish it was just like, congratulations, here's your baby. But no. Well, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, um, night, or whatever. And... Since I won't be posting again for another week. Hope you guys all have a fantastic Christmas. Um, stay safe. Whether if you guys are social, distance, social distancing from family or anything like that. Which I can understand. Um, my dad actually tested negative for COVID. Because his boss came back and... Um, tested positive and he was around all of the guys at work my dad works for the state of Kansas and Kansas don't give a flying crap 
about their employees. And if anybody hears me say that on this video, I don't care. Because because my dad has like COPD and if he would have gotten COVID, depending on how bad it was, uh, depending on how bad it was, or, what, or depending on how bad he had gotten it, I should say, um, it would have taken him out like that in, like, within like a week or so. So, like, his boss was just being careless. And, like, there was already, like, another guy that wore a mask all the time. Wore a mask, guys. All the time. Still tested positive. So, how safe are these masks? I don't think so. But, um, like I said, that was my 26 weeks. Have a fantastic holiday. Merry Christmas to everyone. And I will see you guys next week.